This is what you all been waiting for. Now you wonder what does the rest of the palette perform like? Hi, I'm Elena, the contestant of Painted with Raven season two. On this channel, you'll find some of the tutorials, reviews, artistic looks, face paint, drag queen looks, and celebrity impersonations. In today's video, we're reviewing, swatching, quick tutorial, the new and fabulous indie brand, Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe Palette. It's regal, it's beautiful, looks like this. And you're going to find out all about it because it's launching tonight on Pacific Time and 12.01 a.m. on Eastern Time. So are you curious? Get ready for it because I'm going to tell you everything about it and you're going to decide whether you want to buy it or not. So I want to say thank you to Nomad Cosmetics PR team. Uh, thank you to Felicia. Thank you for sending me over this beautiful, beautiful palette. It retails for $57. Single multi chromes retail for 12 bucks. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like on the outside. If you know Nomad Cosmetics is all about destinations and this is no exception. It's beautiful and it's right up my alley. All the jewel tones and the multi chromes. You'll see the swatches in a minute. So it has 10 luxurious mattes in opulent jewel tones of amber, emerald, sapphire, amethyst, and ruby. Uh, highlighted by five dazzling new multi-chromes that add spectacular ornate touch. So I'm all for it. So let's watch it immediately. Why not wait? And I'm going to probably speed it up because you know it's kind of tedious. And I'm going to ruin those beautiful designs, so <laughs> it hurts. So these are all the mats. I wanted to watch them separately because the multi-chromes are so amazing and so special. It just makes me want to swatch them separate just to enjoy them the most. Mats are incredible. They swatched so easily. They're so buttery. I noticed quite a bit of fallout. When you apply it, like I always say, fallout means nothing because it performs amazing and it literally took a couple of swipes for each swatch. So there you have it, the mats. So let me remove this. I'm gonna get to the meat and potatoes of this. Everybody's waiting for the multi chrome. So let's As get I was to doing it. swatches. Mimi wanted to say hello. She woke up and she's like, Mommy, Mommy, I wanna be entertained. If you love cats, you're gonna love it. If you don't love cats, I'm sorry, but she's a sweetheart. She's one of the three and she's the youngest one. This little girl is 10 weeks old. She, she, she. All right, let's get on. I have to zoom in for this. So let's go from left to right. And yes, Mimi is still on the table, so I'm trying not to put multi-chromes on her little fur. Are you ready for this? Oh! So you can see all the reflects. Let me turn down the ring light so you can see it in a darker light. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. Just, just gorgeous. So in the next video, you're gonna see me quick application. You'll see how it before. Starting with Pena Palace, the ballroom, and Buckingham Palace. So this is Pena Palace, the ballroom. I'm just going with the same brush on them. Then I'm going to blend it and Buckingham Palace. Oh, a purple, beautiful. A lot of fallout, but like I always say, fallout doesn't mean anything. It just, you know, do your eyes first. Blending this with Hall of Mirrors, King's Room, uh, Willanel Palace, and Palace of Versailles. Versailles, so uh, this one is like the only light tone blue. But they blend out easily. If you use a clean brush, you can just blend it out. I usually like to have lighter shades to blend out, but it's not a problem. I'm using the same brush, uh, just cleaning it on a towel in between. Let me know what you guys prefer. Would you prefer just a review without all the explanations of what I'm doing? 
because this could get tedious and people here at Jihas for the review they might not want to hear me say what I'm doing because most of it I speed up anyway so I'm kind of all, always wondering what you guys would rather see the just the review or the explanation of what I'm doing at the moment because it's kind of hard to fit both you know the review and a tutorial Usually people are just looking for reviews and nobody cares about tutorial to be honest. I'm using the Revolution base by the way. Uh, this is Ultimate Eye base in light and I find this very close dupe of P. Louise. And for my eye, for my skin type, uh, my skin is very dry on the eyes, which is weird. But uh, it works better. P. Louise is a little drier and this one is a little cre creamier. Just a basic cut crease. We're going to use multiple multi-chromes because why not? I want to use the little blend here, like here, like I did on the side. Yellow, greenish to bluish. So we're going to use Imperial Crown, Royal Orb, and Blue de France. I'm surprised I'm still pronouncing stuff. Usually I have trouble pronounce pronouncing things. I feel bad like destroying the sprints because the crown is almost gone from me digging and this is so pretty. It's like I almost feel like I want to keep this palette as is without destroying it. Royal Orb next. Royal Orb. Ah. Oh. You know what this is? Multi-chrome orgasm. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh gosh. Look at this. Amazing. And blue the friends. Is it purple to blue to whatever it is? It's like they all have like three shades, I think. They all kind of go in three different ways. I find them blend together pretty well. If they're close to uh to each other, green blue into purple and green blue into yellow. Works really well and beautiful. This is where I'm cheating. I'm cheating on this palette with the previous edition. This beautiful palette, Verona Amor Morte, because it has black. And I always use black in my videos, so sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use this just on the outer corner. Here and a little here. And yes, I'm kind of going loosely because I'm going to clean up later, so it doesn't need to be very, very neat for now. It can be messy. Because, you know, the beads come later. So you, for people complain about uh, fallout, <laughs> this is not a problem. There is pigmentation. Like, look at the pigmentation. It's incredible. So, so good. Usual nomad quality, I would say. So doing the opposite on the bottom. Purples into warmer tone purples. Just the same thing we did here. It does kind of blend into the same color. If you guys are watching it, I think it looks the same. Just because I'm using so many colors. If you just used one, it would probably look different from the other. Like two different looks, three different looks. Because in this palette, when you look at it, you can do five different looks. This, this, they all kind of go by rows and make sense. But if you don't want to use only one shade, like a monochromatic, and if you want to go crazy like me, then you can blend them out, even though they do look really similar. Like you see, this one is totally different. But once you blend it, it kind of does look similar. So doing the same thing at the bottom, going from purple into the blue this way. So it's like duality of the look, blue, and blue purple I like doing this kind of things I often do this kind of thing but it's very effective and looks good so why not back to Hall of Mirrors so now I'm gonna use NYX Happy White and just a thought for you guys if you're using something like this this is waterproof so it tends to be real goopy and very hard to make thin lines so I'm doing like a very bold design here, so it doesn't matter. But if you want thin lines, so just go with the water activated. The reason I'm using this, because over the eyeshadow, water activated liners, you see this one is already kind of looking bluish. They become the color that eyeshadow underneath. So if I want the white to stand out like here, I will use this. But the pay payback is it's not very thin and even. Uh, for the other liners, I use the 
Artitude Cosmetics ones. So we're gonna try to create this diamond that looks kind of like the front of the palette. That's what I was inspired by. And this is very regal, very jewelry inspired. So I added the gems off camera because, you know, this is pretty much just a review the quick tutorial-ish kind of thing. So very impressive so far. I love the blendability and the pigmentation. That's what I always find about Nomad Cosmetics palettes. They're very, very blendable, but they're pigmented at the same time. So they're kind of like beginner friendly, but also pack a punch. So I love that about them. So let me finish my base and everything else and take this roller out. <laughs> this is so homey of me. So I'll be right back. So here's the final look. And yes, I'm wearing a crown, just to go with the theme of royalty. <laughs> I'm very extra, if you notice. So this is the finished look. And I put all my royal jewels and a crown, everything from Amazon. And this is, of course, to go with the palette design. It's all kind of diamonds and things. Yeah, I just wanted to go with the real, real royal feel and the, hence the crown, the jewels and, you know, the design, the gems. I just wanted to be real special. I love Nomad Cosmetics. I love the owner, uh, Felicia. Uh, she's amazing. She's a great girl and I'm very happy for her that she's succeeding with everything. So I highly recommend this as usual. This is amazing. Everything about this palette I love. Multi chromes oh, to die for. You guys really uh, lose it when you try the multi chromes. The gorgeous, gorgeous. The only thing I wish, you know, we're gonna say, I'm gonna say I wish I had a black because I always like a black in a palette, but you know, there is always black elsewhere, so you can use it. Love it, beautiful, highly recommend. So, so just to remind you, palette price is $57. Multi-chrome singles at $12 each. I'm just looking at my phone. Uh, launch day is Tuesday, which is tomorrow, but this is 12.01 a.m. Eastern time, which is kind of an odd time. Uh, so it makes it 9 p.m. on Monday, which is today. So now you got to see all the tea and how it performs before you make your decision. And I mean, if you like to spend your money on a Nomad Cosmetics, which is an indie brand, Single person owned, amazing quality. I would highly recommend this. $57, but the quality is outstanding. And multi-chromes alone are worth it. So I'm just saying. So if you guys are interested, then uh, go look in the description box. I'm going to put all the links there. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Are you buying this? And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Ring the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you all for watching. Love you. Bye.